Welcome back to the Van vs. Club. I'm your host, Simon Wollerlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings, the format where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have Brunswick Corp. The ticker is BC. Price at the point of finding is $84. This is not a recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything, and let's get right into it. Uh, investment thesis and recommendation. We recommend a buy of a BC with a price target of $149.12 and 12.6% five-year IRR. First, we are bullish about Brunswick's best-in-class boat and propulsion segments. Notably, we believe that Brunswick's expensive boat dealer network represents a wide economic mode that allows boat and propulsion, uh, propulsion to maintain their market-leading positions and share of new boat and engine sales. More, more crucially, our assumptions uh, do not depend strongly on new boat build-out. Boats and marine engines require high levels of maintenance, and Brunswick has created an extremely sticky aftermarket for itself. Thus, we believe that their pa parts and accessories segments will uh, generate stable recurring cash flows across the multi-decade lifespan of each engine and boat at a wide install base. Additionally, the most visible risk for Brunswick is a new build boat uh, downturn in an adverse economic environment. However, we believe that these fears create an opportunity for entry because the sticky profits generated in proportion and P&A are largely resilient to economic slowdowns. Company Overview Brunswick Corporation, BC, is an American manufacturer of recreational marine products. The company operates through three segments. A propulsion parts and accessories, and boat. Propulsion, 37% of, uh, of revenues, uh, manufactures engines for leisure boating. P&A, 34% of revenues, offers a range of engine parts and consumables, including oils and electrical products. Boat, 29% of revenues, manufactures and distributes leisure boats, including sport and fishing boats. Despite the even revenue contribution split, uh, the three segments contribute drastically different amounts uh, to Brunswick's habits. Uh, propulsion and P&A are much more profitable businesses, 14% uh, and 15% operating margins, respectfully, than both 10% operating margins. And the two account for just over 80%, 49%, and 31%, respectfully, of BC's operating income. Company position, Ning. In the U.S., Approximately 200,000 recreational boats are projected to be sold annually. New boat build numbers faced their largest decline in 2011, but they have now rebounded to an average of 190,000 annual boat sales between 2013 and 2020. Boat operates in a largely fragmented market and estimates place uh, Bruins and estimates place Brunswick's boat market share at 14% of the total US market. To purchase a boat or boat engine, retail customers must go to a registered boat dealer. Boat dealers and servicers are obligated to undergo a training program with a specific boating company, and most dealers typically only carry a few different brands. Dealer exclusivity is no coincidence, as dealers are offered stronger volume-based rebate programs depending on their level of brand exclusivity. Put differently, the fewer boat brands uh, that are that a dealer carries, the stronger of a rebate program that the dealer receives. When asking one dealer why his shop exclusively carried Brunswick products, he informed us that the decision boiled down to rebates. They're tired. Uh, they are tied to volume sold. You have to do the math in your head. New Brunswick boats come outfitted with Brunswick branded engines, creating a powerful flywheel from boat sale to engine sale to aftermarket sale. Additionally, the sale of Brunswick boats, which are all outfitted with Brunswick engines, alongside share gains in engines caused by strong boat dealer stickiness, has resulted in a proportion having a roughly 45% um, marine engine market share, in which is essentially a duopoly with Yamaha. The boat segment and the start of the aftermarket flywheel. Brunswick's boat segment generated $2.1 billion in 2022 revenues with a 10% operating margin. As mentioned above, boat is not a lucrative segment, and the vertical, uh, vertical was exclusively a break-even business until the last few years. However, it is uh, valuable because BC boats come equipped with Mercury BC engines, which uh, grow the serviceable engine install base for propulsion and P&A. And boats 
Uh, five out of the top 10 most recognizable brands are Boonswick owned uh, with names such as C. Ray and Boston Waiter. Both manufacturers do not disclose specific per brand sales, but a 2019 equity research survey about a brand recognition so, uh, showed that BC Boat brands were the first and second and fourth most publicly recognized ones. The aforementioned boat dealer dynamics favored scaled incumbent players and boats leading brands give us the confidence that Brunswick can maintain, if not grow, its share of the new boats sold each year. This creates a profitable flywheel for increasing uh, the install base of engines and boats that will need a repair in the, mar uh, in the aftermarket. Duopoly and Propulsion Propulsion generated $2.8 billion in revenues on a 22% adjusted operating margin in 22. And the segment is driven by Mercury, one of the two leading recreational boat engine brands. While there are four significant players, Yamaha, Brunswick, Mercury, Suzuki, and Honda, in the recreational boat engine space, the former two each control 42, sorry, 45% of the market. Mercury is the preferred freshwater engine and they succeed through their high horsepower engines. On the other hand, Yamaha's bread and butter offerings are their mid-range 40, 50 and 60 horsepower motors that are often used on the sea. Regardless of these differences, the most, uh, the most critical uh, decision-making point when choosing a marine engine brand is the ability to easily purchase and service the engine. After all, if someone says Brand X is the best, but you can't get service and support for Brand X within 4, 000, 400 miles of you, then it is not a good choice. However, other than select boating cities, most places do not have many Honda or Suzuki boat services. If you need service, serviceability in anywhere else like the Midwest, you have to stick to Mercury and Yamaha. This unique dealer structure means that boat and boat engine owners can neither purchase nor service non-Yamaha and non-Mercury boats in many parts of the United States. Since only Maha and Mercury have the dealer and servicer network penetration to span the US, the two boat engine titans are uniquely able to maintain their outsized market shares, which creates a powerful fly flywheel effect. Notably, new boat buyers seek out a marine engine brands with local dealers, and these dealers will overwhelmingly be Mercury and Yamaha ones. In turn, marine dealers are incentivized to stay with Mercury and Yamaha to capture customer demand, which completes the flywheel. Moving forward, Brunswick should be able to hold its overwhelming share and proportion due to its unique structure as an integrated producer of boats and engines and the structural benefits of incumbency bestowed on Yamaha and Mercury. Significant protected recurring revenues in PA. Brunswick's PA segment sells parts that can range from gears to engine impellers. The overarching theme is that these are generally recurring purchases or repairs made in the aftermarket. It is no secret that the boat maintenance is costly, and most sources place annual boat maintenance expenditures at 10% of the boat's total cost. Especially as boats and engines age, the need for new parts and accessories becomes increasingly prevalent. When purchasing new parts, boats, owners and dealers are quite hesitant to use non-OEM products. Upon purchase, Brunswick boats and engines are equipped with a warranty agreement that protects the boat if and only if the vessels have been properly maintained. Using non-OEM parts typically constitutes a violation of this agreement. Additionally, it is true that some parts are physically interchangeable. However, boat owners are typically forced to use OEM products when replacing more complex and expensive ones. Indeed, when replacing complex engine parts or maintaining the boat's control and electrical systems, you have to use OEMs. A generic one, just, a generic one just won't work or fit. Thus, we believe that Brunswick's P&A segment operates in a sticky aftermarket, which allows them to generate recurring revenues into the far future from their large boat and engine install base. Indeed, the average outboard engine offers anywhere between 1,500 to 2,000 to 2,000 hours worth of runtime, which translates to 20 years worth of engine repair revenues for P&A after each Mercury engine installation.
for customers who have either purchased a BC boat, which uh, come from BC engines, or have a Mercury engine on their non-BC build boat, the uniqueness of parts and strict warranties preventing repairs with replacement parts from different OEMs safeguards Mercury's aftermarket revenues over the long boat lifespan. Risks and a mispricing opportunity. The clearest risk for Brunswick is a weaker consumer environment where expensive discretionary purchases like new boats are likely to become depressed. To this point, uh, Brunswick forecasted 23 boat segment revenue to change uh, minus 5% to plus 3% year over year. However, seeing as a boat is roughly one third of BC revenue and a significantly smaller proportion of income due to it having lower segment margins than PA and propulsion, Brunswick is still forecasting to grow EPS in 23 up to uh, $11. For further uh, supporting our valuation against potential macroeconomic slowdowns is our conservative estimate for new build boat sales. A conservative 160,000. Uh, new boats were projected in 2027E, around 30,000 less than the average number of boats sold over the previous decade. If Even if we dial, dial down our 2023 e-boat build-out assumptions from 188,500 new boats, historical, to a depressed 150,000 new boats, we still arrive at an 12.4% IRR. After all, based on our primary research and historical trends, economic downturns are more likely to impact new boat purchases rather than replacement behavior, which creates an entry point for equity investors. Valuation and key assumptions. Total new boat built a new boat built gross at a discount a depressed 160,000 in 2027 e to the historical 190,000 annual new new US boats. Propulsion, uh, propulsion and boat experience slightly increasing market share, 200 basis points and 100 basis points respectfully. And PNA continues to generate protected revenues from Brunswick's install base. All segments enjoy small pricing power, 3% to 4% annual price increases at a discount to historical rates. Third, slight margin expansion. 13.9% 2022A versus 16% 2027E EBIT margins. Given shift to more lucrative segments and an increased focus on pivoting towards more profitable manufacturing facilities. 20% a multiple discount and bear and bull cases. Base multiple in line with more discretionary pure play boat manufacturers with narrower install base. Catalyst. Resiliency of aftermarket and engine segments in boat downturns draws investor retention. PNA begins to enjoy the maintenance revenues from the COVID-19 boat build-out. Expected IRR 15.7%. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Please, please write down in the comments below what you think of this.